seeing right now a head I'm, and I'm loading lots of heads ah here we are Whoa. that's the accumulation of the digital mass accumulation of the digital mass yes, exactly that's what I work with data. data and what you see there in the beginning is the original source digital oh. anthropology project faro heads faro heads exactly yes that's the coolest kind of head faro heads <laughs> so let me grab the camera right here so so how so who are you hi i'm biliana k i'm presenting at id tech x show in berlin 2018 and uh, presenting my company and what what i do and my product so did you say it's about data Yes, exactly. Like uh, how? I, I use data to make art, literally. I feed on any data and I transform it into an art work. But I take personal data and make a unique artwork. But it's not AI art, is it? No, not it's at still all. It's your art. Oh, yeah. Of it's course. your art? Yes, it's yes. not AI? No, nothing to do with AI, not at that point. It's an algorithm? No. No? No. It's just a data accumulation? It's a data accumulation and I work with it manually. However, it's a lengthy process that takes a lot of time. And the idea of the company is to be able to build a platform where I can handle big amount of data and transform it into art and product. So can we load it on your phone uh, just to show a little bit? Uh, what you can, you can, you can. Because uh, yeah, it's can. best to experience this you, art piece in the VR, right? Uh, this is one possible end product and it's totally dematerialized artwork. It's called Digital Sculpture in Augmented Reality Application. So, um, and around here, you're showing, you're talking about immaterial artwork sculpture uh, in the mobile application format. And how do you show and communicate an immaterial artwork and sculpture? That's the that's the big uh, the big thing. So that's why I built the company in order to create, distribute, and put in contact as many people as possible with this immaterial artwork. So it's like a platform. Exactly, trying to build that platform. Community. As community, based on community. But please, nothing to do with social network. It's not a social network. Oh, no, 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 we no. We hate no, no. the social networks, right? No, 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 no. It's, it's not about else. hate. No, no, it's a great thing. It's about what you are as a fundamental. I do perceive data as a private property. So you give me your data, your personal data, or any kind of data, it is your private property. I do take your data, I transform it, I enhance it, I add an artistic value to it. It's yours, it belongs to you, and I give you an artwork and the end of the process. So can we see uh, just, uh, yes. this, just one, one example of what you're doing, right? Here we are. So that's what was in my in the VR headset. Yeah. What is that? This is you have the accumulation of data. In this case, heads of an Egyptian pharaohs, and you have the dematerialization literary and. You plunge you get onto into the head to the digital mass. It's a non-narrative, non-representative art. Data as a volume rather than surface. And the idea is to accumulate as infinite amount of data in an infinitely small amount of space which you can navigate. You're gonna navigate through that? Yes. So you can navigate your art piece forever, maybe? That's the idea, to navigate the art piece forever. Is yes. it going to be possible that the art is going to be so... Uh, people are going to love it so much, they want to stay in it so f it's a very long time? It's only a question of time, yes. In the end of the day, we don't know whose art piece we are navigating right now, what reality is. And are you talking like Elon Musk, right? 
Uh, no, 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 I no. hope not. You hope not? Okay. No, no, I love the guy, but no, okay. no, I no, hope not. No. His no, rockets no. are pretty cool. No, 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 I don't. But he thinks we are in a, v we are in a game or something. But do you I, think we I are? Don't, I, I just think that being able to create a new dimension in art is literally creating a new reality. Art is reality. And over here you, you, you say um, the art of technology, what does that mean? The art of technology is my building matter yeah. is data. So data you can navigate, you can you can work with to technological processes. It's technologically based entity. And through so that's why it is literally topic. the art of technology. What is anthropic? Anthropic. It's a fusion between anthropology and utopia. It's a made-up word. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's very cool to make up some words. Yep. You do that often? Uh, it was not me that did it. <laughs> it was a dear friend from New York and uh, I use it ever since. So when you said the Silicon Valley last year, what does that mean? You, is that I went you based? to Silicon Valley. No, I'm not based there, but I, I, I went there. I said, OK, that's, uh, that's the best place to present a new type of uh, immaterial entity. I thought in the, art, in, in, in the art world, it was a little bit difficult to explain what this thing is. In the tech world, it's much more natural. Be because all these, uh, let's say guys, it's, but there's not only guys, but uh, yeah. these Silicon Valley guys, Yes. I mean, this mostly guys, they're doing all these social networks and stuff. Silicon Valley wants value out of data. This is what it's the main interest, not only Silicon Valley, everywhere else. How do we monetize on data? And in the moment, you realize how and you manage to do art out of data. I think uh, that's a pretty cool way to monetize on data. Don't you think so? Is this, but is this going to be an application or not? The end formats are what technology provides at every existing point of time. With the evolution of, of the technological possibilities, the end formats will inevitably change. However, the company is essentially data company. However, it works on a two fundamental principle, perceives data as a private property owned by an individual or an entity. In the moment it is given to me, entrusted to me to create an artwork, I make this data, I add to this data an artistic value. I enhance the value of your data. Make it meaningful no, data is just useless. art is not meaningful. No, 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 exactly the opposite. Oh. Data is a rational entity. Technical, rational entity. What I do is I scramble it and bring absurdity to the data itself. Yeah, so but it is beyond recognition. It contains the truth, but it is beyond recognition of its original model. But the absurdity is superior to like the meaningful, the, the, the basic data. From where I stand? Because that's why people yes. go to museums and, and I galleries. Exa right? Yes, that's what I believe. That's why the cool people go there. And uh, I think everybody goes there. Everybody wants to go there. And the ones that have not, it's only a matter of time that people will. Art is an inevitable station of your life you do pass through it the only difference is that i want to take the art entity out of the restrictive enclosure of the art world and bring it to everybody indiscriminately limitlessly because in the last 30 years there's all these computers the internet all these apps and all that it kind of i don't know if it didn't destroy the art but it's just it's not very artistic, all this stuff, right? So you, you think those art is going to survive the, with all this the, technology? Absolutely. The, uh, those are all roads. You travel on them. It only gives you the possibility to travel faster. <laughs> so I love those roads because the data travels on a very, very fast road. 
But you need to package it in a way that inspires. And that can reach everybody. So this is uh, the future of IoT, Internet of Things. And this is where the 5G will literally revolutionize because you will be able to deal with data with a great comfort. <laughs> and, uh, and this is where my company is. So you're yeah. an entrepreneur? Yes, this it's a combination a between art, technology and entrepreneurship. Exactly that. So this is a company with the employees? So far, it's me. But it's also going to, what, do you have a vision? You're going to grow? Yes. You, what, Imagine if you get, uh, all those connected devices and all those people connected on, on, online, on internet. Each one of them, it's my possible client. That's how I see it. And that's the concept of connected right, connected art. So what's Ultimate next? Ultimate connectivity. Who do you want? Borderless art. Who do, you, who do you want to contact you? Everybody. Just everybody? Or oh, just everybody. And what is the contact? What are they going to ask? What are they going to say? What's next? No, they will give me their personal data and say, I want an artwork. Make an artwork out of my data. Make a unique artwork for me only. That's it. Nice. How long does it take you? Oh, that's a long process. The whole point is to be able to be embedded in the Internet of Things ecosystem in order to make this process as smooth as possible and to be able to connect with infinite amount of people that will order an artwork from me uh, made out of data. So all this technology is not, doesn't have to be a barrier for the art. It could enable even better art. For me, it's, 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 a, it's a ship that travels at, at a great speed. And uh, for me personally, speed is everything. And uh, uh, yeah, it, it gives me the possibility to travel very fast. I don't know if that's necessary, good or bad, but I do travel very fast. And I bring everybody with me or whoever wants to come with me. It, that doesn't mean you are not going to make painting. It's simply a very different speed. <laughs>